My name is Colby Cox, and I am a senior here at Seton Catholic High School. We are starting to celebrate Catholic Schools Week here soon, and we at Seton decided to celebrate that by interviewing someone who has had a Catholic education and, has had a and that has had a profound impact on their adult life. This person I'm about to interview is an alumni of Seton, and he just so happens to be the mayor of our very own city. That, of course, is Mayor Dave Snow. Welcome on, Mayor. Thank you, Colby. Thank you for having me today. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Let's start things off by asking, by asking how your Catholic education helped prepare you for your adult life. Because as I imagine, being a mayor is a stressful job. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if that has helped you in any way. Absolutely. I, I have such fond memories of my time at Seton. I started at Seton as a Sunday school uh, student. So uh, even before kindergarten, went through kindergarten all the way up to eighth grade. Now, Colby, you have me beat because uh, you had the privilege of going to high school uh, through Seton, uh, ninth through 12th grade. Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't have that ability. So uh, when I was a Seton student, once you graduated eighth grade, then it was off to Richmond High School. Uh, yeah, and I'm thankful for that. I have great RHS memories, but uh, boy, looking back on those days at Seton, it's been great to take the tour of the building here uh, go back through this wonderful, beautiful building. I always enjoy my time uh, back at the Seton schools, back with the students. And so, you know, my, my only apology is that we're just in such a, a shifted world right now with COVID that I, I can't spend more face-to-face -face time with the students. Uh, hence our new masks today, Colby, that we're trying out. Colby and I are sort of pioneering these masks. <laughs> uh, we'll have to ask viewers to email us and tell us what you think uh, because... Uh, we thought we would just try these for today. What do you think about this so far, this this new mask? I I, I like them a lot better than wearing the cloth masks. It's much easier to breathe. Yeah, I think so, too. It's a little more liberating. I like being able to see your face. Exactly. Uh, would you wear this to the grocery store, or would you stick to your old mask? I think for the sake of uh, not looking like an 80s workout video, <laughs> I would stick to wearing the a cloth mask. Call, good call. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, I don't want to interrupt your questions. No, not a problem at all. Did you have a favorite teacher here at Seton or a teacher that had a profound impact oh, wow. on you as a student or as a person even? Yeah, gosh. Man, I had great teachers uh, coming through Seton. My, my kindergarten teacher was Mrs. Hatfield. Uh, she taught here for a very long time. Uh, my first grade teacher was uh, Mrs. Lemming, who ended up becoming the principal a little bit later in my, in my school time here. Uh, I had a great fourth grade teacher, Mrs. King. Uh, Mr. Pribello was a teacher on the on the west side at that time. Um, so many good teachers uh, and so many good experiences. And I made friends that were really were life friends. I mean, I'm still friends with some of the same people because we sit, we spent so much time together here in such a close knit group um, that we forged lifelong friendships. Uh, so such great teachers, Mrs. Brown, who I still see all the time, uh, uh, and, and just what a great environment, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of these teachers I, I know have retired and moved on, and so right. some of the students today might not remember them, but they were all wonderful individuals, and, and we had just such a, such a great experience um, getting to go to school here every day, make friends here every day. And you were, you were talking to me earlier about how that education prepared me. This, the Seton education was, uh, it was more challenging, and there was a lot of accountability in my Catholic education. So... You know, if I, if I didn't complete a homework assignment or if suddenly on a test I did very, very, very uh, poor, um, my teacher would have called my mother. And so there was accountability there. I, I couldn't just ignore that work and move on as though it never existed. Uh, my mom would come to me and say, you didn't turn in a homework assignment yesterday or you did really, really poorly on your math test. What happened? And so there was accountability. And what better way to train you for a job like I have today than to have always been accountable for the work that was assigned. And so I still carry that with me, and that's a huge benefit to that private Catholic education. Yes, of course. We pride ourselves in teaching accountability mm -hmm. and responsibility. Yeah. Very important trait, especially yeah. for someone in your field. Uh, so I'm sure you have never skipped a homework assignment and had that happen, but I, I had it happen a few times. But I'm positive it's never happened to you. I can't, I can't Colby's confirm or deny. he has got me beat on everything. He's got me beat <laughs> at every angle. I can't win one. <laughs> oh. Um, do you have a favorite memory uh, from your days at Seton 
that you'd like to share with oh, us today? Man. Oh, man. An experience uh, sure, that has impacted lots of you? Them. One of the things we always looked forward to was the Seton Carnival every year. That was always a lot of fun. Uh, and I would even come back and visit the Seton Carnival even after my time here. Uh, now I'm a big fan of the chocolate festival that happens. Um, but, oh, my goodness, some of the memories from back then. Just, I, I would say they're very general memories of, of just uh, time in class, uh, you know, time after school, just making friends and some of the fun things we did. Uh, in eighth grade, uh, we took a trip to Chicago. And that's, wow. a, that's a lifelong awesome memory, uh, our eighth grade trip to Chicago. And, and that was my first time being in Chicago and seeing, you know, at the time, the Sears Tower, it's the Willis Tower now. But uh, uh, really great memories of, of being here and being with my friends. That's great. And I, I've had the privilege today of uh, touring you around the school yeah. and seeing all the new additions. What would you say is your uh, favorite new addition to the school? Oh, it's, it's all the programs that are here now that weren't here when I was a student. Um, you know, we walked past the band room, and uh, how awesome is that? That wasn't mm -hmm. really available when I was here. So uh, the, there's been this huge expansion of programs that are available to students from sports to music. Uh, we're here in the, in the TV room in a TV studio. We did not have this when I was a student. So this is awesome. I mean, it's, it's these things that I think are really, really impactful because it gives you that outlet, uh, whether your talent is in athletics or whether your talent's in music or whether your talent is in media, then you have those avenues to pursue here. And, and that's really, really awesome that that's all here at the school now. Right. Yes, we've added a lot of, uh, of new programs that, that I've partaken in and it's been great because before we never really had a whole lot of uh, sure. extracurricular and elective activities. Mm -hmm. And to close things off, I, you're in a very high position in this town, and uh, I was just wondering, do you have any advice for uh, the students here at Seton? Any tips or adages you could give to them? You know, for? I would say the number one advice I can give you is uh, continuing your education. That, that's number one. Uh, and, and it's maintaining a strong, positive attitude. You hear that a lot, and you hear it so much it almost becomes cliche. Um, but I can't stress enough the difference it will make in your entire life. Uh, to understand that when problems come along, the, the problems are the problems. It's your attitude toward the problem that will determine the outcome of the problem. If you have a bad attitude towards a problem, then you're gonna end up with a bad outcome. And if you have a great attitude, you're gonna end up with a great outcome. And so uh, that's one of the most important things I can, I can convey to people is keep your attitude positive and strong, and, and you'll do well. Wise words. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for being on the show today. We Thanks for having appreciate me. I it. appreciate it. For more information on Seton Catholic Schools, visit www.setonschools.org. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the official Seton Catholic YouTube channel, and be sure to follow us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for celebrating Catholic Schools Week. I'm Colby Cox, signing off.